everybody. Welcome back to Recordology. It's been a while. At least it feels like it's been a while. Been very busy cooking up a very special surprise for you guys that I look forward to telling you all about in a couple of weeks here. But in the meantime, today we're just going to do a quick video looking at the Soundpeats earbuds. You may be saying to yourself, do they still have a model you haven't reviewed? Well, yes, they do. These are brand new. They came out on the 28th and I wanted to share them with you. So without further ado, let's take a look. Welcome to Recordology. Okay, so these guys are running some sort of promotional right now. I think they're doing a giveaway and there's discount codes. All that stuff will be in the description below. But they said, hey, do you want to review these new headphones? And I'm like, yes, I'm a sucker for headphones. So let's do it. So what are these all about? It looks like they are an in-ear design, sort of a hybrid design because they've got the in-ear piece there but then this looks more like a traditional earbud which is like i've stated before my preference i am getting used to the in-ear style though i am finally getting used to it these offer uh bluetooth with a uh, high res uh lossless audio quality and they are ldac compatible which is sort of an open source lossless functionality these are uh hybrid active noise cancellation so they actually do have a microphone on board that will sample sounds around you and then cancel out those waveforms. And this does feature a 12 millimeter bio-coated dynamic driver. I'm not sure what kind of bio they're coating a driver with or why that's a good thing, but it sounds kind of cool. 12 millimeter, that's pretty big for an earbud. Some earbuds are seven, eight, nine, ten 10 millimeters uh, when it comes to the actual speaker driver itself. I think one of the claims to fame with this particular unit is the playtime You'll notice there are 52 hours, and it will have a charging case, which if you have multiple sound peats, these are just so low priced that you really can't afford to get multiples. And the one downside is the cases look very similar. So I've had it before where I put the wrong earbud in the wrong case, um, all that fun stuff. So yeah, Bluetooth 5.3. It has a 20 hertz to 40,000 kilohertz range, which is pretty good for an earbud. Uh, maximum working distance 10 meters, so 30 feet. Although in my practice, you can go a lot further than that. Eight hours of playtime between charges, up to 52 hours if you're charging them in the case. So yeah, uh, cool products. They've done some uh, great stuff. Hear your imagination. I'm also not sure about this guy on the back. Is he like a wax figure? Okay. Um, I don't know if this is an award that it won. Lifestyle VGT, very good product. For 2023, that sounds good, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and open this up and see. Usually the packaging from these guys is really good, so I'm assuming this will be as well. Got styrofoam inserts, black coated internal box. We've got the user manual right here. And I really do recommend headphones from these guys that we've reviewed in the past. Hopefully these will be no different. They're just high quality and the prices on these earbuds that they you know have available are, are truly incredible is there anything else in here some sort of card it's just a quick start guide of some sort and i think that's oh wait no we do have a little box with a charging cable in here this will be a usb c i'm sure of it have no problems with these headphones i really really have it and i've reviewed lots and lots of them so Let's go ahead, type C. So it says right there on the bag. Rather than find the opening, I'm just gonna tear into it because that's the kind of guy I am. And yep, yes indeed, it is USB-C. And there's nothing else in this box. Looking at the actual device, they have a protective film to protect it in transport. So I've got to find the opening on this. And there's the case. Kind of a matte finish i like that yeah there's some that the only difference is the color of this panel right here like i have two pairs that one has the gold finish one has a silver finish and that's literally the only way to tell them apart okay so let's go ahead and open them up Ooh, they're bigger than i thought they're gonna be definitely an in-ear design and they have this film to protect the contacts because if you've never had um, these kinds of earbuds before the case is a charger you'll see these little metal pins down there that actually make contact with the earbud so this basically saves the battery from draining Got a nice gold finish there 
It's weird because it looks like a standard earbud that you would just put in your ear, but then there's this tip on it. Isn't that odd? Like they have earbuds. They make these guys make earbuds that have just the same, you know, cabinet housing. I guess you would call it. And then there's just a little slot where it opens up, and this kind of is an added piece that will, assumedly, sort of insert that sound down into your ear canal. So be careful with volume. Also be careful with things stuck to your fingers. Those are very sticky. Wow. And then the other one will be the same thing. And the case is form fitted to the earbuds and we'll charge them. And then once the case runs out of charge, you just charge the case and it charges the earbuds and the case as well. And that's pretty much all there is to it without giving them a listen. So I'm going to do that now. And wow, I need lotion really bad. I'm going to do that now and let you know what I think. Okay, I have to say, as much as I hate doing this on camera, they're very comfortable, surprisingly. And like I said, I don't really particularly like in-ear earbuds, but these actually feel surprisingly cozy and comfortable. So from a fit perspective, from a comfort perspective, surprisingly good. So now let's find out how they sound. Okay, these have to be my new favorite sound Pete's earbuds or just earbuds in general. The sound was phenomenal, and I keep saying that about these, but I, just 69 bucks that's what these cost uh, without the discount, and there's discounts in the description down below. So even full price, 69 bucks. I don't know how people are still buying AirPods and like quote-unquote name brand um, earphones at this point because these companies are, are making products that are not just competitive, but they are better, and I have heard Apple uh, Apple's earbuds before and I, I like Apple products absolutely but when you can come out with this quality of sound for 69 bucks it'd be kind of silly to, to spend more when you don't have to you know what I mean they just sound the, the bass was flooring it was like it, the bass was as good as my big grado over the ear open backs just a really deep thump and a really pleasing rich tonality but it doesn't sacrifice the high end the high end was very much there the mids were leveled off um, kind of neutral i didn't feel the mids were pushed i felt like they were pushed bass and uh, treble priority uh, which is a sound that i personally don't mind it's very similar to grado actually um, kind of a warm sound but definitely able to reproduce those highs i listened to a variety of song styles but for 69 bucks or even less with a discount or maybe even winning a pair you can afford to take the risk with these they're just fantastic and these guys make really good earbuds for even like half that it's just an amazing amazing thing they got going so wholehearted thumbs up and i know i've been doing a lot of earbuds i'm gonna try not to i'm gonna try to resist the temptation to try everything that's out there um so we'll, we'll stay away from uh, earbuds for the time being so yeah, that's my review of the Sound Pete's, which ones are these? Capsule 3 Pros. All right, my friends, and that is going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I know it wasn't a full-blown video, but it was something to look at, something interesting to see. So that's going to do it for today. Happy record hunting, and we will see you next time.